recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. With an angry bull shark loose, local hunters are forced to post bail and shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the water. Pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown.
made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not caring. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans, which means there's still plenty of treasure out there for everybody. Under 29 days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. Retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens.
Accelerating destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and development. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. What's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract us. The shop here, right there. Nowhere else in town got that mango butter facial scrub I like. Treats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Time to 
to wrap it up, I suppose. The hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear, which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> right. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. driving force for the bull shark. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. The bull shark detects the faint millivolt electric impulses given off by the heartbeat of its potential prey. Hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts. None more so than the sharks. My ex is folk dog being voted painted sails. But, you know. So do a lot of other New York Cuyons. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the draft of beach umbrella renters. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. That's three of them killer whales, they got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Oh no, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials.
workers do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. have exploded here. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them.
Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Parisian whoring expeditions. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Broker. Context regarding the scale of an orca, their teeth are the size of bananas, and I mean Cavendish bananas, not those Manzano ones. The Gulf Stream brings warm waters northeast across the Atlantic towards English seaside towns filled with cranky pensioners, donkey rides, and heroin addicts. The bull shark can perhaps take solace in the fact that her rough skin will really do a number on the orca's tooth in it. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the Gulf.
for the bull to be cautious, as killer whales are well-known predators of several species. Anita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. Once you accept that our modern industrial civilization is just one among many that have risen and fallen, then you can finally surrender peacefully to our inevitable collapse.